The woman inserted a needle into her vein and drew out 2,000 milliliters of blood. She then used a brush to dip into the fresh blood and splattered it all over the entire kitchen. The remaining blood was poured onto the floor and she spread it evenly, leaving behind her fingerprints. After a few minutes, she cleaned the floor with tissue, wiping away any traces. Amy hid the iron rod, which stained with blood in the fireplace, and she retreated into hiding after completing all of this. When her husband returned home, he discovered a chaotic scene on the floor, and immediately called the police. The police arrived at the scene, and using fluorescent testing, found a large amount of Amy's blood in the kitchen. The iron rod in the fireplace was considered a murder weapon. The police believed that Amy had been killed. During the investigation, it was discovered that the husband's bank card had been maxed out, leaving him with a significant debt. Furthermore, he had recently upgraded Amy's accidental insurance policy. Based on these findings, the authorities concluded that the husband had planned to harm Amy. All the evidence pointed to him, leaving him with no defense. He was subsequently arrested and taken to prison.